Well, only on Fox tonight, while it's considered one of the most walkable parts of Houston, the Heights has broken sidewalks, areas not wheelchair accessible, and even sidewalks that just lead to nowhere. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from the Heights with this exclusive, Randy. Yeah, Rossi. Now, in some areas of the Heights, you can walk several blocks on sidewalks, but there are areas where it would be impossible for folks in wheelchairs. In 2019, Heights resident Alan Jackson spent three months walking the Heights, eyeing the sidewalks. See where there's, they were good, where they were missing, where they were not passable. Alan says he found that about 70% of sidewalks in the Heights are pretty good, but pretty bad for the disabled. If you're in a wheelchair and you want to get from one end of a block to the other end, there's only maybe five or six blocks where you can manage that. Here's a few notable spots we discovered. Utility boxes that block everyone's access. The federal and state standard for wheelchair ramps is five degrees. This one is measured at 26 degrees. It would be pretty much impossible to even push somebody up this ramp in a wheelchair. Walking the baby is not always easy for Gary Randall and his wife. There's places where it's just cracked and uneven and you can't even really walk across it without running into issues. So we kind of have to make a middle map of where we can go, where it's actually safe. District C Council Member Abby Kamen calls sidewalks in the Heights a huge challenge. Uh, the Heights has some of the oldest infrastructure in the city. Remember, the Heights was actually its own city before it was incorporated into Houston. The city of Houston doesn't have a dedicated funding stream for sidewalks. Houston Public Works sidewalk program builds new sidewalks along streets leading to schools, major thoroughfares, and improve accessibility for people with disabilities. So who pays for sidewalks in need of repair? Homeowners are responsible for the care and maintenance of sidewalks. So even where we have sidewalks, it's up to a homeowner, which can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some funds are available through programs like the Safe Sidewalk to School program and one to make sidewalks wheelchair accessible. I have worked um, in allocating funding, for example, again, to the mayor's office for people with disabilities to bump up some of the um, requests that are coming through in District C. Now, a few years ago, voters in Austin approved a $37.5 million bond fund to improve sidewalks. Cayman and other city council members here are considering proposing a possible bond referendum for sidewalks here. Reporting live from the Heights, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.